Okay, here we are, and this is day two. of the homemade poo water. Okay, so this is what it's like after one week. And like I said, this isn't, I mean, it's really gotten a lot more in there I think this is working out pretty good um, just with a bubbler and those the homemade mixture I mean the other side you can't even tell I took any out of it it is doing great I actually need to take more out and actually harvest it to feed so doing good over here all right that was just a quickie because I'm gonna put together a video on whether the homemade stuff works or not Okay, it's pretty warm in here today. Um, this has been a little over three weeks, I do believe. I think it's just three, might be four, but I think it's three. And you see we've lost a lot of water. But, man, um, I tell you, uh, look at how thick those are. Can you see it? Look at, look at how thick that is. And that's just in my personal mix. And this is the other one. Um, it's oops, it's down quite a bit too. I'm harvesting it, so um, it's a little bit less. Uh, I'll show you this while I'm in here. Doing really good. And we even have one of the beans that sprouted down there. I'm actually going to make a bed coming off of the other one. But all right, let's show you how I make the mix. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit different this time, just because I had them. Um, last time I took compost um, that had rabbit poop in it. This time we've got, and this one is the chick poop that was in the brooder and sawdust. We're going to add some more chicken poop that's fresh out of the um, coop, and then rabbit poop. Manure, whatever you want to call it. So I just dump them all in. A little dusty don't breathe that in so just like that and I like using this the jet because it actually mixes things up a little bit better Now that's good and mixed up. Look at her bubbling. I want to switch the shower. Because then there'll be a lot less of uh, particles coming back up. Probably good. And now I'm going to use something you can't even get on Amazon. It is a stirring stick. We want to file this for later. And look, there is actually bugs already in that. It'll probably kill most of them, but that's okay. They can become fodder. 
Now, I just set this off to where it's not gonna get wet and let her bubble. For me right now, that's in my messy greenhouse. All right, I hope you learned something. Hope this helped out a little bit. Hope maybe you start your own stuff. Get your own little bit of fodder going. And hopefully, um, I'll probably clean most of this one out when it comes. I've got giant duckweed coming, so hopefully we can get that going. All right, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you on the next one. And remember, stay alive out there and keep on surviving. <laughs>